So to to modify our children objects inside the parent component, we will need to import a couple of uh, APIs from the React library. We need to import children and clone element. So children is is an API that helps you to uh, look at the children object and run some transformation functions on them. So you can create a new children array using the existing children array by modifying uh, the children, right? So this is especially handy when you want to attach a few props when the children are rendered inside a particular parent, right? So let's see that in action. So I'm going to say const new children equals children dot map. So I'm going to iterate over all the children. And for each child, oops, for each child, let us say, I don't want to render the child now. I, I want to render a paragraph saying this is a child. Right? So instead of rendering this dot pops dot children, I will say new children. So now the heading elements disappeared. So did the paragraph and it was replaced by uh, this paragraph element. Right? So in this case, we are completely neglecting the child uh, object. We are completely disregarding it. But let's do, let's actually modify the child object. So what we'll do is I'm going to clone the child element and I'm going to give each of the children a class. I'm going to give it a class name called child. So now the heading and paragraph elements are back and they should now have a class name property class child right so this is how you can you can add properties on the fly when they are inside a particular component so the same children um, if they are in a different uh, parent element you can handle uh, the how they appear on the screen better so this gives you a control so you don't have to worry about how uh, which kind of parent your uh, elements are going to be rendered in you can you can outsource all of that no logic into the parent elements the parent components or elements whatever Right, so you can attach as many props as you want. Um, right, for now, what I'll do is, yeah, the next thing we'll do is, um, so right now we are just cloning every child element as it is. I don't want to do that. I want to, let's say, only give a, sp a special property only if it's a paragraph. Right, so what I'll do is, uh, I'm going to check for the type. So if the child dot type equals paragraph then I'll do uh, some a different kind of cloning altogether. Otherwise, I'm just going to give it a class name called child. Right, so here what I'll do is I'll give it a class name of child, but I'll also give it, um, let's say a style. I'm going to say background color is royal blue. Oops, oh, sorry. So this way you get to decide how you want different children to be rendered inside the parent and you have total control over it.